All right. So let's quickly solve this second illustration. And that will be like our cap and capital allowance. Can you see my screen? Confirm that you can see my screen. No, no we can see your screen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we can. Now. Okay, good. Okay, yes, we can now. That's fine. So let's just quickly trash out. You can see my full screen, the Excel and the other one. The Excel and the Word document. No, just the Word document. You can't see the Excel? No, sir. All right, no problem. How about now? Yes. Yes, we can. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, can you please, can you, you may as well reach this for us? Okay. Jumbo Nigerian Limited, a manufacturing company, commenced business on August 1st, 2020. And okay. prepared accounts on July 31st of every month for the purpose of business. It incurred qualifying you know, capital we said, expenditure we said the first as follows. Thing. Sorry, sorry to cut in. You know, we said the first thing you should do is to give us the heading, I mean, the requirement. The requirement guides you on what you need from the question. So okay. the first thing you should do is to check in the requirements. Okay. So what's the requirement? The requirement is compute capital allowances of Jumbo Nigeria Limited for the first five years of assessment. So I will say computation of capital allowances for, I don't know the years of assessment yet, so I will come. You know, we said in the last class, there are four things you are required to do basically before, I mean, to determine your capital allowance. The first thing would be for you to determine what the basis period for accessible profit, right? Do you remember? Hello? Am I alone? No, you're not. Yes, we remember. Hello, sir. <laughs> so, we remember. Said, the first thing is determine the basis period of accessible profit, right? Yes. The second thing is with the tax load of um, a capital allowance, Abby. You remember? And the last yes. thing for you allocation Thank of QC, Abby. Do you remember? So I want to do the three steps together at once. So we have YOA, that's your assessment, basis period. Are you with me? Of accessible profit. We have basis period for capital allowance. Then we have here allocation of QC Abbey. All right. Now, let's now check the question to know what's going on. No volume. I think it should be from your end. Please confirm if you all can hear me. Yes, sir. All right. Jumbo Nigeria Limited, the manufacturer, commenced business on August 1, 2020, and prepares accounts to July 31 every year, right? So what this suggests to me is this is a commencement question, right? So in determination, commencement rule applies. In determination of business period, commencement rule applies. Do you remember? 
Hello. Yes. Now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. <laughs> if commencement rule does apply, we said for the first year of assessment, the basis period shall be from the date of commencement, and that's first of August. That be. Commencement. Uh, yes, sir. So the accounting year head and the accounting year is 31 yeah. 7 2021, right? And we said it must be on preceding yes. year basis. So the preceding year basis is what 2022 year of assessment. Right. Yeah, right. Then sorry, 2022 year of assessment. Then you start a day after the previous year. That's 1st of August 2021, right? And end it in the next accounting year, yes. 31 7. Please mute your mic. Mute your mic. If your background is noisy and you are not contributing, mute your mic. Then the next thing we have, we start again from there. We have 31, I mean, sorry, a day after, that's 1 8 2022. To 31 7 2023. They will move on 1 8 2023, right? To 31 7 2024. They will do 1 8 2024, right? To 31 Seven twenty twenty five. How many years does me to do five years? But twenty twenty five. Five years complete. Yes. So all on preceding year basis to be twenty twenty three year of assessment, twenty twenty four year of assessment, twenty twenty five year of assessment, twenty twenty six year of assessment. Is that correct? Is that clear to you? Any yes, question yes. from this? Yes, sir. You you made a mistake on the yes. last. Okay, 31 7. Thank okay, you. It's typographical or we write to graphical. Okay, I'm typing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We said basis period for capital lands should not be different from basis period for accessible profit, only that there should be no gap overlapping in the basis period. So we also apply the same rule here from the date the accessible profit basis period commences. So 1 8. 2020 to the accounting, I mean, to the year the basis period ends, that's 31 7 2021. Beginning from here, copy and paste. I didn't get you. Copy and paste everything. Look at your head, did you? They are the same now. Let's just move ahead. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks to Finance Act. <laughs> All right. Then the next thing is we start to allocate the QC. Right, so we'll check the year in which the asset is purchased and where does it fall in the basis period. Right, so July 1, we said asset purchased before the date of commencement shall be deemed to be purchased on the day of commencement. So we have plant and equipment. The next asset we have is motor vehicle, motor vehicle was purchased on 31st october 2020 31st of october 2020 is here so we have motor vehicle plant and equipment yeah we have factory building factory building was purchased december 13 2020 also still here so we have factory building also motor vehicle was purchased october 15 2021 and so we have Motor vehicle. Plant and equipment was purchased November 1, 2021. November 2021 is within is before July 31st. So we have 
plant and equipment. Am I alone? No, sir. No, no. No, sir. The first no, sir. Part of equipment bought 100,000 July 2020 was disposed December 31, 2024. So I want to check where December 20, December, December is in 2026 year of assessment, right? It's somewhere around this basis period. So I have equipment disposal, right? And then the examiner also said that motor vehicle bought 300,000 2020 was sold on December 31, 2023. So December 20, 31, 2023, somewhere around here, right? So I have motor vehicle disposal. Is it clear to everyone? Is it clear? Hello? Is the allocation? Hello? It's clear, but must we do it like this when we are writing an exam? Can't we just go straight to the and just compute? If you can, if you are capable of doing it without allocating, you are good now. Okay. But I don't, I'm not sure you will be able to do it comfortably if you don't go through this process. But like I said, you know, we shall be this thing past ourselves, not be younger. But it's just good to allocate this so that it will be clear, so you know when you want to put it. So now we have plants yeah. and equipment. Oh, my computer. What do you say? Maybe it's time consuming because you know, the time they will give us is not always enough. And the question is voluminous, so there's nothing you will do like. Just double into it. If you double into it, you may you may be forced to double out. <laughs> <laughs> so just take your time and do. I prefer doing the workings first. Number one is invariably it makes your work faster. If you've gotten, if you've gotten, like if you've done the initial things you are supposed to do, it makes your work faster than if you are just trying to pick it up haphazardly. Right. All right. Are we together? Sorry. Initial allowance is ten percent, fifty percent, twenty five percent. The same applies for motor vehicle, right? But here is fifteen percent. No factory building, yeah, fifteen percent and third percent. When you get your question paper, just go to the last sheet on the question paper. You have the information there. Do you get the last sheet? You have the information there. Cost. So, the, you know, here we are doing 2022 year of assessments. Is that correct? So, we have plant and equipment, motor vehicle and factory building. Is the disposal I want to illustrate here? That's why I'm doing this question. Is the disposal 500, 300, and 400? Because this is not 2024 year of assessment, I will still do investment allowance. I know we said investment allowance is once in the lifetime of the asset and does not form part of the tax value of the asset, right? Do you remember? Hello? Yes. Hello, man. Yes, I Please mute your You're mic. Welcome. Mute your um, mics. Mute yeah. your mics. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Mute your mic. Right. So the next thing we have is 
initial allowance. We said initial allowance is not prorated down to number of months in the basis period. Do you remember? So initial allowance is 50%, right? Times the cost. Are you with me? Yes, we have to. So I'm not doing anything very serious. Right. So the next thing I want to do is annual. If I'm too fast, please call my attention backward. But it appears like everybody understand me already. That's why I'm doing this. Right? Annual allowance is cost minus initial allowance times the annual allowance rate, right? Times the number of months in the basis period. And we said when it is commencement, you have to be careful of the number of months in the basis period, right? So what's the number of months in this basis period? August to July. How many months is that? How many months is that? Hello. 12 months. 12 months. So 12 over 12 is one, Abby. Is it clear to you, please? <laughs> Any question? Any question? Yes, sir. Do you all? Eh? Yes, sir. I have a question. Sir. Yeah, please go ahead. We do something like investment allowance. How do so? You don't put it investment allowance. Okay. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. For English? One question. Please go ahead. This investment allowance. Are you yes. Yes. What if we have, sorry, just a question. What if you have an addition for place or planter machinery? Are we going to have another investment allowance on that additions? Definitely. Even though we've already charged in the first year. For the new asset, yes, because it's once in the lifetime of the asset. So if you have a new asset, you will still have to charge the investment allowance. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right. 24 Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello ma. Please ask your questions okay. once and for all. Okay, please. Uh, why did you divide the twelve months by twelve? Because upon commencement, you might have questions that are less than twelve months. So the ideal thing is you put it down to number of months in the basis period. So as me, the number of months is nine months. You would have done nine over twelve. But yeah, it is twelve months from August to July. That's why we did twelve over twelve. Okay. Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. Hello, sir. Yes, this will be the last question sorry, before we move on to the next thing. Before the next question, I'm we sorry, move sir. I also want to ask another question. I want to ask a question. You yes. know, at times in companies' policy, they yes. a recognized asset that if we buy this asset maybe 10 days before the year end, they still take it as one year. Why some yes. companies usually prorate them? The IES 8 estimate. Estimate. Now, in capital allowance, does it apply? No, it does not apply. I'm, I'm, asking, in gen I'm asking in general life now. Yes, it company... doesn't. What we are concerned <laughs> about is the number of months in the basis period. Not okay. when you buy the assets. If you buy assets okay. in August and the accounting year is December, the question is 
do we have 12 months basis period? If it is 12 months, you don't prorate the annual allowance. <coughs> so we are not bothered about when you buy I the asset, now. quote and unquote. We are bothered about how many months are there in the basis period. Yes, sir. I understand now. I understand. Right. And this is a federal, a, a government tax, and this is company policy. They are no, two different things. Yeah, it doesn't respect government's policy. I mean, government's policy. What? Can you hear me? The last one is on the next phase. Before the next phase. Blue GV, please, that line, I don't understand it. Eh? What we just did is cost minus, cost minus initial allowance <laughs> minus annual allowance. What does it cost? TWDV minus. Mean? Let me... Yes, that's what I'm saying. TWDV is tax sitting down value. TWDV is tax sitting down okay. value. Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, sir. Sir, I don't want to sign that basis of you or something like that. I just think of it. Ah, what I would advise you to do is just catch up with, try to catch up with our previous video on basis period. I thought basis period as a topic already. Can we just solve this question so, then? Maybe stop spending. I, I, I want to do it. something. I want to get something straight. Did you use the old finance act regarding the? the um, Is there anything like old period? finance act? I mean, before what they use the um twenty twenty finance act. I mean, and I'm going to use you. I'm going to use the finance act provision to solve. That's what I'm using. Okay. All right. Just catch up with our previous videos. I will send up the link again, and you will catch up with that. All right. Hello, sir. Good evening. Let me let me move on. So, kindly note your question. Okay. I will open the next question window question in the next couple of minutes. Do you understand? Please note up your questions now. <laughs> I won't have to pause here. Note your questions. All right, sir. So I will still open another question window. I just don't want it to be like it's question and answer. All right, Jiggy, I'm saying I'm very sorry for yeah. that. No problem, sir. All right, thank so you. I should be twenty-three of assessment. Yeah, twenty-three of assessment. Thank you. So the question will be: Do you have additions? Your allocation will tell you yes. You have additions. So you have additional motor vehicle and plant and equipment. So plant and equipment is what two hundred thousand, right? And then motor vehicle is one million. Don't forget, we said you don't total cost. You don't put total cost here. Do you remember? You don't total cost. So you have initial allowance. How much is initial allowance? So we said initial allowance is once in the lifetime of the asset. So that's the initial allowance rate times the cost, right? Sorry, sir. Are you going to charge the investment allowance on this um, P and? Oh, sorry, I have forgotten. Sorry about that. The investment allowance. Sorry. The investment allowance is ten percent, right? Yes, sir. 10% times the cost of the asset. But it does not form part of the tax value of the asset. So it's better I just put it like this. So you have... Is somebody getting what I'm doing? Yes, sir. Annual... Uh, sir, please come again without your initial allowance. Okay, okay. I get it, I get it. All right. So, because of as for financial purposes, I want to separate the old from the new, right? So that we will we'll get it better. And even in exam, you can do it like this. So, for the old asset, are you with me? For the old asset, yes, all you need to all you need to do is very simple. Just now, check back. Did you prorate the first initial allowance? If the answer is yes. You do tax it down value divided by the remaining useful life of the asset. But if you do not prorate it, 
Just go and repeat the annual allowance before. Did we pour it the first one? Mm, yes, but it is 12 over 12, and 12 over 12 is 1. But let me show you what I'm saying for explanation purpose. You know, we said TWDV divided by N in the last class. TWDV divided by N minus 1, right? And to get your N, I just want to explain something. To get your N, it is 100, 100 divided by the percentage. So here, the annual allowance for plant and equipment is 25%. So you have four years. So the asset is supposed to use four years, basically. So now, what you want to do now is tax down value divided by three, um, sorry, four minus one. Are you with me? Yes, sir. If you notice, you are having the same answer as the first one. Yes, sir. The reason you're having the first, the same answer is because you didn't parade the first one. Assuming you prorated the first one, you will not have the same answer. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. All right. Any question? Yes. Any question? Sorry, sir. Is it that you have opened the question and answer section? Yes, I've opened, I've opened because I'm almost done with this one. All right, sir. Thank you so much, sir. My question is, um, Darius, sir, are we allowed to write, um, what's got all the... Sir. Hold on, Hello. one person is going on. Let's... Hello, sir. Yes. Can I continue, sir? Yes, please continue. All right, sir. I mean, are we allowed to write, um, during exam, are we allowed to write it in short, such as that TWD? That's yes, you are allowed. allowed. You are allowed to write the t-shirt. Sir, I have another question, sir. Yes, please go ahead. Sir, the question is that assuming the equipment was bought, let's say, in the 2024 year of assessment, that means that N minus 1 will be N minus 2, right? No. You mean for the annual allowance? What I'm doing here is for the old asset, I've not done for the new asset. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That if assuming we bought a new asset like two years after, you understand. So it doesn't have any, it doesn't have anything to do with, with when you buy the asset. The question is, did you prorate the first one? If the answer is yes, you do n minus one. If the answer is no, you go as life continues. I'm not sure both of us are on the same page. Like if it was not prorated, so you just use and uh, just press the percentage like that. Exactly, that's the point. Okay, so the the issue of prorating is just TWDV divided by n minus one, and n is the uh, the percentage of the annual allowance. Am I right? N is the number of years the asset we use. E yes, and that that would be hundred divided by the annual allowance rates. Exactly, exactly. That's the point. Okay, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Oshundele? Sir, Oshund yes. I, I want you to clear up something here. On the 2022 year of assessment, the yes. initial allowance was 50%, and the annual allowance, you use 25% of the balance of initial allowance, which I hope maybe it will be 25% um, on cost, not the balance of initial allowance. No, it is... 25% on cost minus initial allowance. The formula is cost minus initial allowance times the annual allowance rate. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because I felt that it should have been no. on cost. Rather than I, understand, cost minus... I understand your feeling, but your feeling is wrong. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So let's now do the new asset. The question is how many months are there in the basis period? It is 12 months period, right? So just do cost minus initial allowance, right? Times the annual allowance rate. All right. Are you with me? Yes, sir. 
So we are. So now I get our TWDV. Now it's cost minus initial allowance. No, sorry. Sorry, beg your pardon. It will be tax return value of the previous year plus the cost plus the initial allowance plus the annual allowance. I'm sorry, minus the initial allowance minus annual allowance minus annual allowance of the new assets. Do you get it? It's like you had the initial allowance. Yes, because I because it was a minus already. You, you know minus times minus, minus times plus we give okay, minus. Okay, okay, all right, okay, okay. Notice, sir. Thank you, sir. Because I'm using Thank Excel, but the addition is to minus. All right. Do you get the gist, please? Ah, please hold on. I'm trying to. You say that one eighty seven point five zero plus two hundred, Abby. Yes, minus hundred minus sixty two point five minus twenty five. Minus twenty five. Yes. Okay, thank you. 24 year of assessment now. For 24 year of assessment, are you with me? Yes, we are. Yes, sir. Did you Hello, sir. did anything happen? I will check my allocation of QC. Did anything happen? Nothing happened, Abby. So I'll just Excuse repeat me, my annual allowances. So I'll just say Hello, annual you? allowance. Are you with me? Hello, sir. Hello, ma. Please have a question. Please go ahead. Sir, what is the book oh additional, additional assets in 2024? Are we going you would to have treated it. You would have treated it the way I treated the additional assets in 2023. What are the investment allowance? Are we going to charge it? Exactly. I thought you said from 2024 year of assessment, there's no need for charging investment allowance. Okay, this is 2024 year of assessment, so you don't charge it. Uh, yeah, that's what, I'm what if we bought an asset in that 2024? Are we going to charge investment allowance? No, you are not supposed to charge it. You are not supposed to charge it. You've answered it already. Do you understand? Beginning from 2024 year of assessment, we all agreed that finance out has scrapped out investment allowance. Okay. So you don't need to charge what has been scrapped. Do you get? What happened? Are you with me? All right. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, ma'am. Please, how did you get the seven point five annual allowance for twenty twenty four? Please. Sorry, Zell has done something wrong for me, Jerry. You don't need to ask, please. You got you got the gist that there's a mistake. Uh -huh. Sorry, Zell has a mistake for me. All right, thank you for that donation. I didn't skip twenty three. You joined late. This twenty three. All right. So the tax is right. Hello, please. Yes. Um, the annual allowance for 2024 was says that it's seven point five. Is that you come about it? The the just the basically the old the old plus the new annual allowances. The old allowance plus the new allowance. Hello. Hi. Please, can I see the allocation table? You will see it as soon as I get there now. Okay. I'll just scroll there. Just hold on. Are you with me, please? Hello. Now, I will check my allocation table. Did anything happen in 2025? Yes. But what happened? Disposal. And we said when an asset is disposed, you determine the balancing charge or balancing allowance. Did you remember? Hello. Yes. 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 We, and we said the common name for two of them is called what? 
Balancing. Balance adjustments. Adjustment. Adjustment. Sir, 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 please scroll up again. That place that you wrote the basis of a year of assessment. I just want to screenshot it. Just scroll there. I just want to screenshot, please. Yeah, just wait a minute. This thing, you have it already. I'm going to send it to you after the class. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I've done it, sir. I've done that. As I'm updating it, if you have the sheet already, it will be updating at your end. Hello, everybody in this class, you have access to the sheet. So now, the question says that compute the balancing charge or allowance in relation to the assets, right? Yes. Because it's requirement, so I would say computation. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it is balancing charge or balancing come allowance. On, so on, to be safe, on, come, I would say balancing on. adjustments. Okay. Home. Right. What are the assets that was disposed? Motor vehicle and equipment, right? Yes. So motor vehicle. Equipment. Total. I will say cost. Sorry. I have um, the rate here is P. Sales value. No, the initial allowance. Annual allowance. Yes, 50%. 50%. Yes. Right. Since, are you with me? Yes, sir. Since investment allowance does not form part of the cost of the asset, you don't need to do investment allowance on this table. Do you get? Because the major issue here is just to determine the profit or loss on disposal, which we call balancing charge or balancing allowance. So you don't need to put investment allowance there. If you put it there, then nobody's going to penalize you. But I'm only saying it's not necessary. Do you get it? Yes, sir. Much of vehicle was bought for how much? 400,000. And then, please mute your mic. Equipment is bought for 200,000, right? Initial allowance is 50% times the cost of the asset, Abby? Yes, sir. Yes. Annual allowance is cost. Are you with me? Minus initial allowance. The cost is three hundred thousand for the motor vehicle. Okay, sorry, you. Thank you for observing. We have cost minus initial allowance, right? Times annual allowance rate. Are you me? The yes, sales sir. value for that vehicle, I think, is 400. No, no, it Not was bought 300. for 300. Motor vehicle was bought for 300. This is what they say. Okay. I, okay, I thought it was the sales value we are talking about. No, All right. not the sales value. It's okay. All right, it's okay. So we say it's cost minus initial allowance. I know Zano allowance, Abi. This.
right? Are we clear? Are we clear? Yes, we are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. An allowance. Just repeat it. No, no. No profit, no. Right. Sir, please scroll up oh, as you are moving. Yeah, I will do that. All right. Um. Is somebody getting me? Yes, I will getting it. So you, know you, are repeating, you are repeating the annual allowance, right? Yeah, so you didn't put 23 year of assessment to. I put you it just 24. that I skipped the year. Okay. okay. But since you've cashed me. Put in the five year of assessment. Did anything happen? Put in the five year of assessment. Let me go and check carefully. Put in the five motor vehicle was sold, Abby. Are you yes, with me? Yes, it was sold in 2024. Let's just say 2025, yes. No, you don't just say, oh, it's the allocation that determines, oh. Don't just say, oh. Do you get what I'm saying? You have to allocate it properly. If you don't allocate yes, it properly, sir. there's going to be an issue. All right. So, when you five, they sold an asset. Right, so we have six proceeds. How much they sell the assets? Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. No, auto vehicle was 400, sold for four hundred. Four hundred thousand. So here now you have balancing charge because the sales proceeds is higher than the tax return value. Abi. Yes. Yeah. So that's the 35 minus 400. That's tax return value minus six proofs. That's balancing charge. I would advise you just ignore the this thing. Then the annual allowance. Yeah. Are you with me? <coughs> are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, we are. The law provides that at the final year of the asset. The tax in the value shall be 10 era, Abby. You yeah. remember that? Law? Yes, sir. So it means yes, here sir. now, you've gotten to five, you, and you say you are going to get to the final year when the tax in the value is the same as the annual allowance. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes, sir. So it means that invariably here, you have gotten to the final year of the asset. So your tax in the value is here is 10 era, but what figures are in thousand? So you have 0 0.010. Do you understand? So to just do this, it means here the annual allowance should be the previous annual allowance minus the new tax return value that the law says you keep. So you have 24.99. Do you get it? Sir, yes, please sir. come again. I get it to come again, uh, sir. Please explain this this TWDV again. The law provides. Uh, Are you hey, Diana, do you know the ask has question? The law provides that the asset must have 10 error at the final year of the asset. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay, as the as the tax is in that value, have it? Yes, yes, yes. For okay. the final year. Yes. All right. So that becomes what you have here. 
So here now, like 26 year of assessment, then it didn't happen. Did anything happen? Yes, equipment was disposed. So sales proceeds. How much is that? How much was equipment sold for? It was sold for 50, oh. right? So you have 50,000. Balancing charge also. So you have 50 minus. So you have 49.99 balancing charge. <coughs> and that will be all. Are you with me? Are you with me? Okay. So do you have your assessment now? Now, I will say, since there is disposal of asset, I will write disposal here. What will come in the computation of capital allowance is not the sales proceeds. What will come in the computation of capital allowance is the tax return value of the asset you dispose. The tax return value of the asset you dispose. So in 2025, you dispose motor vehicle, Abby. So the tax return value of the motor vehicle you dispose is what? 37.5. And that's what you will use. As they say, as the disposed asset. Are you with me? Sir, so if I be to be honest, that point that you write 24.990.01, I, I still don't get it clearly, please. The law provides that you should keep 10 error as the tax return value of the asset. But so the 10 error is asset. yes, for all assets. Immediately they get to the final year, you keep 10 error. So, okay, you now deducted that 10 error from that 25 to get your annual allowance as 4.99 instead of exactly. the normal annual allowance. Exactly. Okay. So, I have the question. Huh? So, why is the question? Please go ahead. Please, uh, this question, eh? The disposal, is it full disposal or partial disposal? Huh. The examiner don't tell you if it is full or partial now. If we are not doing group here. So why is it that we don't keep the net up for the plant and machinery for the final bonus? Why is it what? For the plant and machinery, we didn't keep the net up. We plant and machinery, we keep the Please mute your mic. Adi Shekola, please mute your mic. Please mute your mic. They are distracting. Hello, sir. Yes, please. Okay, please. Okay, please. There was not any retention for plant and machinery. Are you with me, please? I'm with you, please. And the attention for you talked about are the final assets under the competition of our and balancing adjustment. So no general retention fee under the school fee and the fee that there's ten era here now. And when you feed. Now, does it cover for both assets? Does it cover for what? Is it for the both assets? Which both assets? Now, if you, um, the motor van. The motor van retention fee. The yes, motor van does so not have retention fee. It was okay. sold before it got to the final year. Okay, okay, okay. All right, sir. So, yeah, you have another. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, yes, sir. Please, I want to ask a question in regards to this uh, competition mm -hmm. of a capital allowance. Yes. Uh, as we go mm -hmm. to new method of uh, getting uh, the mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. Now, if you comment me, Within the year, let's assume that okay, this is a uh, year twenty. Okay, a company commence business during the year. Can we prorate the annual annual allowance? I'm not get. I didn't get your question. 
For instance, now let's assume that a company commence business September 2023 and make its account to be 31st December. Yes, you put it on allowance. Okay, for the first year only, Abby. Yes, yes, yes. Is okay, the balance after the first year, the following year, uh -huh. going to continue with the proration or we just, just do up tax and tax now value, value divided by the number of years of assets. I guess you came late. Tax now value divided by the number of years of the assets, the many useful okay. life of the assets. Okay. Sir. Okay. Hello, okay. sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Sir, let me let me continue. You... Let me okay. continue. I will accommodate questions okay, in the okay, next no couple problem. of minutes. No problem. Please note your questions. I will accommodate questions in the next couple of minutes. Okay. Are we here together? Yes. There's an asset bought in 2022, right? Hello. Yes, we are together. Yes. Yeah. The asset bought in 2022 has gotten to the final year of the asset. Because you have 2022, 23, 2024, 2025 is the final year of the asset. For that reason, what you just do is the annual allowance. That's a 7.5 minus 10 error. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, the asset. If you notice something, are you with me? If you notice something here, the asset, the tax and value of the asset disposed is the same. So, what you have here is you don't have the old asset again. Are you with me? For the motor vehicle, you don't have old asset again. What you have is the new asset. So, you only repeat the annual allowance of the new asset because they've sold the old asset. Do you get, sir? And sorry, yet, sir. From our calculation, the the year it was exposed. Is it that the tax within that value of that year is thirty seven naira fifty copper that you wrote? Thirty seven thousand five hundred. Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. 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 So now the annual allowance of twenty five thousand you wrote is just for the new assets. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So you have this, you have this, you have this. No. Then finally, you have 26 YOA, right? So you have, are you with me, disposer? An asset was disposed, plant and machinery was disposed of 10 error. That's the tax value of the asset disposed, right? Annual allowance here. The asset purchased in 2006. You ask your question. The asset purchased in 2024 has gotten to the fourth year. So for that reason, you have only one year remaining. So you do 24.99. Right. Here to the asset purchase in 2024 has gotten to the final year. So you just have to maintain 10 era as the tax value. So you have 124. That's this. 24.99. Please move to your mics. This thing moves ahead. No. So you have CWDV. All right. Excellent.
125 minus 124 you have this Yo, Are you with me, please? Yes, sir. Any question? Yeah. That's the, that's the end of the question. Any question from here now? I can accommodate as many questions as possible now. Sir, uh, please, please scroll down to that uh, disposal for that ten era. I want to check that piece. Well, I think I have a question there. Okay. Okay, so that means that 0 0.01, that 10 era, is the cost of that asset based on the rule that the final Ex year, right? Exactly. That's the carrying amount. What you used to call carrying amount in FA, in financial accounting. Okay. Okay. So now, the annual allowance you charge for that year is the annual allowance that you take away that 10 era that we must retain. As the the, the tax return that value, so you you that's how you got that twenty four point nine nine, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So the the same thing is applicable for the other asset that was sold too. I didn't get that. So uh, that uh, rule of that ten era at the final year is it for all asset or some specific asset? The ten era is for all assets. The tenor is for all okay, assets. It's applicable to all assets, Abi. Yes. Okay, okay. I'm struggling to hear you. I'm struggling to hear you. You can use the chat room. I've not picked anything. Hello. Doing the computation of balancing and you can use the chat room. I'm not picking what you are saying. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Sir, please can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Hello, sir. Hello, I can hear you. Please go ahead. All right, sir. Sorry, I joined late. I don't know whether this uh, computation and the question will be available after the lecture, sir. Yes, yes. I'm yes. only following. Will How will I get it, sir? If you are in the group, you will get it. All right. No problem, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. Hello. Thank you. The lady speaking. Hello, sir. Hello, ma. Um, please. Why was this um, thirty-seven thousand five hundred for disposal in year twenty twenty-five? Please, why was it repeated under the other competition of capital allowance we did earlier? Am I the one struggling to hear you? Is it my? Is it from my end? To... Or your voice? Can you please add more volume? Okay. Okay. Can you hear me now, sir? Better. All right, thank you. I said, please, um, this disposal for year 2025, year of assessment, yes. why was it repeated again under the computation of the capital allowance? Because at, at this point, the essence of the table on computation of capital allowance is to determine what is the value of asset we have left. So, you know, to get the asset, no, value of asset you have left, you have to deduct the one you sold from the one you have left to get the new balance. Do you get the gist? Please recap, sir. You have to deduct the old balance, the one you okay. sold, if you want to get the value, if you want to get how much is in your store, how much, how much is the value of what you have in your store. All you need to do is oh, deduct sir. the one you sold from what you have in store, you get the balance, Abby? Yes, sir. And that's the idea here. So the one I sold is 37.5. So just deduct that to get how much is me that I've not sold. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Anything.
Okay, uh, so please, can you show up to 2023 year of assessment? I want to check something. You have, you have, this thing should be your group set. Okay. Because I was looking at the additions and then uh, I discovered that the, those three figures were not matching over there. The total. The sum total for year 2023. We are having 904. We are having 904. Then that of uh, 2024, deducting that figure from that one in uh, 2023 is not giving us the, the, the total expected. What's total? How did you? Uh, what were you expecting to be the total? No, the, the 904. Yes. The addition. Okay. Compared okay, to mean... the. This plus this plus this. Is that what you're saying? Yes, we have that. Then deducting no, that of uh, 2024. The, this capital allowance. You don't mind the colon. You just okay. add up the. You, you just mind add up all the allowances to give you the total allowance. Okay. What you do is just to add it up. That's all. Add okay. the allowances up. That's all. Okay. All right. Any other question before we call it tonight? Here? Okay. Hello, sir. Sir. Yes. Hello, sir. I want yeah, to ask a question about the. Yes, yeah, Akima Boy Comfort, sir. I okay, want to ask a question about the. Okay, about the investment allowance. Even though the final, the new finance act has removed it, does it mean if you are given a backdated date for the company? We are not to input the investment allowance too as well. If they are given what? If we are giving if the year given in the question is not up to the year the financial the new finance act took place. Does that mean we will not charge the investment allowance? If it is not within the year the finance act takes place, please charge investment allowance. Investment allowance we became effective in twenty yes. Investment allowance became effective in twenty twenty four year of assessment. Twenty twenty four year of assessment. January. Okay, just for your assessment. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. Any other question? All right. In the absence of question or questions, any question? The absence.